Hey guys, so I'm just leaving the barn and such a good day. Really had some awesome rides on my horses and that always makes me in an extra good mood. So today I wanted to show you a little bit of a video on a young horse where I'm just kind of starting to develop the trot. This is one of the hardest things to do, I think, as a dressage rider and as a dressage trainer. You hear over and over again people say, you know, look for the walk, look for the canter in a young horse, don't worry about the trot because you can develop a trot and make a trot better. So for a lot of us this is easier said than done. You know, you take a horse with a pony trot and you think, okay, I've got to get this thing to where it's basically passaging, like a good trot is somewhere between a medium trot and a passage. That's what you want your collected trot to be. So there's a lot of different ways to develop a trot and it takes a long time. You know, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of understanding before horses that have kind of an ordinary trot are just going to start trotting, you know, with this huge monster trot. So in this video, I'll show you a little bit with this young horse who doesn't, he has a good trot and just showing some leg yielding mixed in with some medium trot work, how that can help with starting to develop the trot. The other thing which really helps develop the trot work is the piaf passage work. So if you can teach the horse a little piaf and then starting with a little passage where they start to get a little bit more of that lift in that cadence in their trot, um, that's going to really start helping to develop the cadence and the expression that you want to where you have, basically we call it a second trot. So it's not the trot that you see on the lunge line, like when they're just trotting out for the vet, but it's a second trot. And again, you know, this process takes years and years. And then the other thing that's really a challenge is being able to take that cadence that you've developed and then take it into your lateral work, like into your shoulder and into your half pass. So that's your next challenge. But it's a really, it's a cool process. You know, I have one little mare in training and I've had her since she was, well, I started her as a three-year-old and then she got sold a few times and now I have her back in training. And she had like the most choppy pony trot, tense, short that you can imagine. And now, you know, it's been nine years and she's got the most amazing reach through her shoulder. She has this beautiful trot, beautiful reach in her shoulder and in her half pass. And it's like the most fun thing ever to ride it. So for those of you guys that your horse maybe doesn't have the fanciest, flashiest trot, it is possible to do, um, but you need to really get some tools, get some help, um, and kind of get some understanding for how to help your horse to understand to find that bigger trot. So I hope this helps and please don't forget to like and comment on my video. Thanks guys. Okay, so this horse that I'm riding is coming six this year and I'm just trying to help him find a little more reach and cadence in his trot, although he has a very good natural trot. So you'll notice I'm in posting trot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm starting a leg yield, but I'm letting the shoulders kind of lead. And then I'm adding a few steps of medium trot as I go straight at that end of the leg yield. So a little bit of a leg yield can help to really get the horse to swing and loosen a little bit in their back behind the saddle so that when you push forward to a bigger trot that they can actually take a longer stride and not just a faster stride. So I'll repeat the same thing this way. I'm gonna turn on, say, the quarter line. I'm gonna start a leg yield, and again, you see it's not a proper leg yield like you would want in the show because his shoulder's too much falling over, but I'm just trying to get a little bit more reach and a little more swing in his stride, using the little bit of sideways to help him understand to take a bigger and longer stride. When I'm riding this leg yield, I'm trying to swing the left hind leg and the right front leg 
more forward and over. And in between, I'm just kind of managing the tempo and managing the frame so that the frame's not too low and the frame's not too high and that the tempo doesn't change. The tempo doesn't get quicker when I ask for that bigger stride. And so little by little, as you work on this trot, you'll start to get a longer stride and then a little bit more cadence in your strides. And this is how you start to develop that second trot, which will later on also develop into your piaf and your passage. <laughs> 